our flight to Langkawi is at 4 p.m. We had some time in the morning, so we decided to check out Singapore Zoo. At this early hour, there was no heavy traffic. It took us about half an hour to get from the hotel in Geleng to the zoo. One of the things that we've noticed about Singapore is the light traffic. Perhaps because owning a car is a big financial responsibility and it's more expensive comparing to many other cities in the world. The roads do not get congested with traffic and especially the motorbikes, as we remember seeing in big cities in Thailand. We made it to Singapore Zoo! Now let's go get the tickets! It was just past 8.30 a.m. There were not too many people around and no line up at the cashier. Around the ticketing area, there are a few food outlets, so if you come hungry, there are places you can eat at. We decided not to waste much time, grabbed our tickets, which were $33 per person, and went in. At the entrance, we were given a map that helps with the navigation around the zoo, as it's a big place to explore. From the entrance, the trail splits into two. Rainforest walk to the right and the treetop trail to the left. We decided to start with the treetop trail. These guys are Malayan tapirs. And no, this is not shot in slow motion. We're not sure whether these guys are super careful or just naturally slow. And these are not logs. Well, at least not all of them are. Some of these logs are hogs. Look at this great camouflage. I bet this piggy is jealous. This here is Omar the White Tiger. In tiger years, he's one of the oldest at the zoo, as tigers live around 15 years in the wild and up to 20 years in captivity. Today, Omar is 17 years old. In human years, the oldest animal at the zoo is a stove, the tortoise. He's a male who is 79 years old and weighs almost 300 kilos. also known as underwater ballerina of West Africa. They were super fun to watch, cruising underwater with their fishy companions performing cleaning duties. Since they don't have much personal space and sometimes accidents happen, like this one. If you're curious who this guy is, look up Alligator Gar. This long-necked turtle guy looked so desperate to get some attention, so we'll let him have it. it started to get humid and hot. Thankfully, at the zoo, some of the shelters are even air-conditioned. In this constant heat, these are life saviors. Well, this guy doesn't need no introduction.
top of the elephants of Asia. There are two shows daily, one at 11.30 a.m. and the other one at 3.30 p.m. It was still too early so we didn't get to see the show, but we did catch them running around and doing their elephant thing. There are three other shows available. The Animal Friends show with domestic animals, the Rainforest Fights Back show showcasing the wildlife of rainforest, and Splash Safari show with California Sea Lion Superstar, which we actually got a chance to see. If you're not afraid to get wet, you're more than welcome to take the seat at the front. I decided to play it safe and keep my distance. The show involves many funny moments and interaction with visitors. And here are a few highlights from the show. This show is about 40 minutes and it's a great way to take a break from walking around, just sit back and relax. If you wish to visit all the shows, I suggest you plan ahead. Make sure to check their official website for show schedules as times are subject to change. Our next stop is Primate Kingdom. We spend at least half an hour here as it's a big place and presents many different species of primates. With the zoo's famous open concept, most species have their own island recreating their natural habitat. sitcom as much as we are, you might recognize this particular type of monkey. Rosa's favorite gal, Marcel, the capuchin monkey. Let me share a few interesting facts about the zoo while we're walking through the primate kingdom. It was opened in 1973 with 300 animals from 70 species. Now it's home to over 2,800 animals, representing more than 300 species, 26 of which are endangered. Currently, the zoo receives 1.7 million visitors a year. It's considered number one zoo in Asia and number five overall in the world. The zoo is impressive size of 26 hectares. In other words, the size of 23 football fields. And there are further plans to expand the zoo by year 2020. For over 20 years, the star animal of the zoo was Ameng, the orangutan. Sadly, she passed away in 2008. 
She starred in over 30 movies and dined with celebrities like Elizabeth Taylor and Michael Jackson at the famous show Breakfast with Amin. 4,000 people attended Amin's memorial service. She was buried at the zoo and a life-size bronze statue is displayed in her memory. If you will be planning your visit to the zoo, we highly recommend to check out their website for schedules. Plan your day accordingly. To make your zoo trip easier and more enjoyable, the zoo created a suggested itinerary with morning and afternoon highlights and park visit tips. We wish we had more time at the zoo and planned our day a bit better, so we wouldn't miss one of the most popular attractions that Singapore Zoo is famous for, the animal feeding sessions. You will get a chance to feed many animals off your palm. To name a few, elephants, white rhinos, giraffes, and baboons. Feeding sessions take place between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and food can be purchased at the zoo. Make sure to come early if you want a chance to feed the animals as the zoo limits their food supplies to avoid overfeeding. It seems like a super fun activity to do for both kids and adults. Hope you won't miss it. our own poop to absorb the nutrients we need. We also roll in our own poop and urine. When everyone smells the same, we know we're one big family. Naked mole rats. What is it called? Sticky insects. Yeah, I think. Nice. Yeah, very smooth. Do you have spiders? Show us spiders. No, I <laughs> spiders? Oh, right. I got something else. Yeah, I'll do this. This is a little problem. This one is uh Just on the legs. Okay. 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 This morning we were debating whether or not to come to the zoo or go and explore some other spots. But I'm happy that we decided to come to the zoo because it's, it's a great place to just walk around, enjoy some nature. It's beautiful, lots of greenery. Overall, it took us about three hours to walk all around the zoo. You can definitely spend more time, I would say up to five hours if you have kids even longer because there's some kids playing areas it's really beautiful and very fun and overall it's been a really wonderful day we enjoyed it very much
and now we're gonna go buy some souvenirs at the gift shop and head back to the hotel to pack our luggage and go to the Changi airport to fly to Malaysia. Woo. Thank you.